Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Keanu. So I'm not gonna lie, I have never watched Key and Peele. I know, I know. But that led me to be genuinely excited to see what the tone of comedy was going to be with Keanu because I didn't know what to expect. I don't really know their brand of comedy. I was a little bit nervous that it was just going to be stupid, but it turned out that I found them very funny and very charming. I enjoyed Keanu quite a bit. So first of all, Key and Peele have great chemistry. I, I really enjoyed their banter, their back and forth. They played off of each other very, very well. And both individually were very funny. I found Keegan-Michael Key's character to be hilarious. I thought he was funny pretty much throughout. And I thought the George Michael bit with him was hilarious the entire time. I just found his character to be really charming and really funny. Jordan Peele was also very funny. He actually injected pretty much all of the heart into this film, other than this little guy here. But I just thought he did a great job at the actual acting portions. And really, he was great. I haven't seen him really in anything. We've seen Key over here do quite a bit in film and has really been trying to branch out into the film industry. So it was nice to see Jordan Peele really get some shine here. And I thought he did a really good job. And just in general, everybody across the board here brought some good comedic elements in. The jokes landed. There were quite a few really good gags in this movie that really had you giving a good laugh. Not just chuckles, a nice hearty good laugh. And throughout, I was chuckling, I was laughing, I was having a good time. I was genuinely entertained through the entirety of this movie. And really, that's the biggest compliment I can give to a comedy. It made me laugh pretty consistently. Of course, there are problems. There are several scenarios that are left completely unresolved. Obviously, a lot of it is very unbelievable. But, I mean, <laughs> once you get into the movie, you know it's going to be unbelievable. So it's easy to detach yourself and just go along for the ride and have a good time. But a lot of key characteristics to these characters are left in disbelief as well, which is kind of a problem. And it really comes in with Key's family life. They, they start to really delve into storylines that we didn't need to, to delve into. And then it leads to this kind of convoluted joke at the end. But you're kind of like, wait a minute. I don't know that they would have let this happen or let this go. But again, whatever. We'll let it go just to kind of have a good time and, and wrap this all up. There's also a reveal at the end of the movie that I don't think was really earned. They didn't lay any groundwork for that to be the case. And actually, they had to do backtracking to cover their butts. And it, it never felt genuine and never felt earned. It felt like, ooh, we got to make this character redeemable and feel like a good person. So let's reverse some of the stuff that happened earlier to make them a good person. So, again, it, it didn't feel like an earned surprise. It just felt like, hey, we need a twist in here and we want to make this person appear better. But let's just be honest. The star here is Keanu. This kitten they got in this movie is adorable. Like, unbearably adorable. And they got this kitten to do adorable things. Just like, oh, the little kitten, I want to hold you and kiss you and cuddle you. He was just so cute, unbearably cute. And that's the glue that holds this whole movie together because you're like, yes, yes, you go and you get your kitten. You kill for that freaking adorable little kitten. And you make sure that kitten is safe too. Ugh. Because seriously, in these action sequences and these shootouts, you're like, Screw the people. Make sure that kitten makes it out alive, okay? So, is it stupid? Yeah, it's a pretty stupid movie. It doesn't have much of a plot. It doesn't have anything to say. But is it fun? And is it funny? Yes. It's fun. It's funny. It's a good time. You just turn your brain off, look at an adorable kitten, put in ridiculous situations, and have fun with it. 
I enjoyed Keanu. I don't think it's necessarily worth a full price ticket, but definitely it would make for a fun, hilarious matinee. So that has been my review of Keanu. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Keanu? Are you a fan of Key and Peele? And if you aren't, are you still excited to see Keanu? Let me know either in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.